on organic solar cells, or a PV for organic photovoltaic cell, first emerged. Efficiencies hovered around the 3% mark, and that's where Heliotech was at. That sounds pretty dismal, but that was about 10 years ago. Things improved at a relatively rapid clip and by 2013, Heliotech was reporting a solar conversion efficiency of 12%. Heliotech has also been adding to its investor list. It kicked off with an all-star roster including Bosch and Bass, and in 2014 it added another round of impressive backers. Heliotech's new organic solar cell record, just announced last week, clocks in at 13.2% as confirmed independently by the Solar Research Center Fraunhofer CSP. That's still not up to the company's end goal of 15% but for now nobody is complaining especially not Heliotech CEO Dibodos Aguilin, who provided this remark to the media. I am delighted by this latest result. It validates our choice to internalize our R&D, both by developing new absorber molecules and optimizing the device architecture. This will provide the baseline for efficiency in our large volume manufacturing line. With our Helia film registered, we are clearly executing our strategy to provide the carbonized decentralized energy generation directly on buildings all over the world. The new Helitech consists of three layers of organic molecules, each of which had been developed in-house by Heliotech. Each layer specializes in converting